everyone. First of all, thank you for participating in today's webinar, Subjecting Miss AI on the Rolling Stock. I'm Crystal, DFI's Assistant PM Director. I'm in charge of uh, uh, bus PC, panel PC, and vertical products like uh, transportation and medical products. Today, I would like to introduce DFI's RC300-CS. It's an AIOTH computer designed for railway on board use. Although air and road transfer is well developed today, the railway is still an extremely stable means of transportation. Whether carrying goods or passengers, it plays an important commercial role on fixed routes and is already part of the infrastructure of smart cities. Due to its reliability and cost effectiveness, the investment of construction and upgrade never stop. In addition to the pursuit of capacity and speed improvement, a significant change is to improve passenger experience and driving safety. AI technology plays an important role to efficiently help railways operate in a safer and smarter way. The DFI's RC300-CS is a reliable and robust AI OTH computer designed for railway in industry. It's based on Intel Generation 9 Core i processor and incorporates NVIDIA high performance graphics module as the AI accelerator to perform the real time video analysis in the chain. The independent graphics module we use is in MXM form factor. MSM module is widely used in notebook, providing compact anti-vibration, and good thermal dissipation cap cap uh, capability. So the whole system is designed with a passive cooling without any active fan, but still can run in high ambient temperature up to 70 degrees C with natural convention. The RC 300-CS is suitable to put in a chain for real-time video analysis by AI deep learning technology, since it is reliable and rugged design. The RC300-CS is certified by real standard EN5155 up to class OT3. It's targeting in real-time check instruction detection driverless operation, passenger flow monitoring, and pantograph monitoring applications. This application will be addressed in the following pages. I will show six uses case of the RC300-CS. The first, Use case is drive, drive assistance, or we can say it's autonomous driving assistance. Like autonomous driving in, in, in vehicle industry, AI computer plays a brain that, uh, which makes decision by uh, analyzing data collected from different sensors like LiDAR, radar, and cameras. As you know, the data are in a large amount since most are video and image files, Linux powerful computing power to do real-time analysis and then make instant decision. The combination of Intel Core i processor and NVIDIA AI accelerator provide the required performance. The second scenario is pentagraph monitoring. In the Pentagraph is one of the power source of AI operation, and it needs to be constantly monitored to ensure it is in health condition. 
Generally, there are some cameras on top of the chain to monitor the appearance of the panograph. Along with the AI technology, the monitoring center, the monitor center can quickly judge if any abnormal or then and then plan the maintenance schedule. This is kind of a predictive maintenance technology that helps on avoiding uh, operational interruption and safe operation loss due to pentagraph broken unexpectedly. The third scenario is to use for monitoring passenger flow. As the, the, the page show, the AI calculation can effectively help the driver to make suggestions for the movement of passengers when the compartment is crowded. The fourth scenario is obstacle detection on the track. Thousands of train accidents happen around the world every year due to collisions into obstacles on the railway track, often resulting in numerous uh, disasters. Train services are hampered by safety issues caused by obstacles on the rails or harsh weather conditions, such as a heavy fog, rain, or snow. These impediments cause a chance to slow down and prevent them from reaching their destination on schedule. Most of the current solutions rely solely on optical sensors to detect obstacles, with the limited results due to weather conditions and reduced visibility, along with the high computing power and deep learning algorithms. The RC300-CS makes real-time decision by anal analyzing continuous data collected from the sensors to identify hazards on and around the uh, and around the rail tracks, such as cars, some animals, humans, at least 500 meters away in all weather conditions. The system also automatically recognizes rail, railway traffic lights and signs in order to alert the train driver well in advance. Um, uh, the, 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 the fifth uh, scenario is the onboard security. Through the image or video created from the IP cameras, the RC300-CS could analyze passengers' behavior by the pre-chained model to check any unusual activities and alert staff to take required actions. The video will be saved in the storage of uh, RC300-CS for the post-event analysis. The RC300-CS provides up to four SSD spaces and supports RAID 0, 1, 5, 10, which gives the reliable storage solutions. The face recognition technology also helps to identify criminals, missing persons, missing persons by monitoring passenger flow, control, and opening, closing of chain doors and guide the flow to the in uh, the the emptier, emptier carriage to give passengers good experience. The last one is about the infotainment. Digital signage includes the chain, uh, uh, digital signage inside the chain help passengers to understand the traffic conditions and even the outside environment by VR technology to provide a added value of passenger experience. They will uh, give the more money to the operators. Next, uh, let me introduce uh, keys, key specs of our RC300 HCS. 
The unit is based, designed based on Intel Gen 8 and 9 Coffee Lake processor. It supports up to uh, six giga, six, 64 gigabyte memory with dual channel SO DIMMs. The temperature, uh, the, the operating temperature can be up to minus 25 to 55 or 70 degrees C without the fan, without the active fan. But uh, the, 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 the maximum ambient temperature depends on the uh, MSM skill installed. And our system is equipped with the compact and reliable MXM graphics card. Also, it supports multiple expansion uh, interfaces for the uh, CAN bus or MVB bus module or LTE. Even it can support uh, the up-to-date 5G NR. Uh, uh, 5G NR module and the mini PCIe can support the Wi Fi and also the GNS module. The whole system is uh, certified by the railway standard EN 5155 and also that uh, fireproof EN 45545. The system supports four PoE ports at M12 connectors. Each port supports up to 15 watts. And all the IOs are securable, including the isolate, uh, uh, 8-bit ADI and 8-bit DO with 2 kV isolation. And also four serial ports for USB 3.0 ports and two USB 2.0 ports. As I mentioned earlier, the, the system supports up to four swappable uh, 2.5 SSD storages. And the power input supports to uh, supports 110 VDC or 9 to 36 VDC. This is the uh, uh, IO pictures of the RC300 base CS. Uh, it's designed for easy maintenance. So you can see there are uh, external accessible SIM slots on the rear side of the system. Uh, you don't need to remove the cover of the system. You can just remove the bracket on the rear panel to uh, buy the screwdriver and you can uh, exchange the, the SIM cards. And also the, the four SSE base can be swappable by easy uh, the use the uh, to, to by easy use a handle to open the storage bay. Okay, most important IOs are put in the front panel, including the four serial ports and DIO ports and USB ports, and also four M12 PoE ports. In, ad in addition to four uh, M12 PoE pros. There are two RJ45 gigabit LAN for the, the maintenance. Here's shows the uh, the expansion slot. Uh, you can remove the button cover of the system to install the the expansion modules. There are three mini PCI slots and two uh, M.2 slots. For the mini PCI slots, you can install the LTE, CAN bus, or MVB module. And uh, also, the, we, we offer the uh, M.2 M key slot. It can support uh, 
the, the up-to-date storage M.2 SSD. And also there is M.2 slot B key uh, for the 5G NR module. This page is a, a show introduction of the MSM module. Uh, you may be familiar with this module because it's widely used uh, in the notebook. Uh, there are three types of the uh, uh, MSM. Yeah, type A is a small form factor, uh, and type B is a bigger, the, the, the longer to support the higher performance GPU. And the type C is a proprietary form factor. Some vendors use, uh, to design the, the longer MSM module to support the more power to the GPU. Why we use the MSM in our uh, system? Because it's a, a compact and the rugged design with the small footprint. And uh, with the same performance, it, it comes from the lower power. And also it's a standard pin definition. You can get uh, standard modules from the market. Here shows the compatible MXM module in the RC300-CS. There are at least uh, uh, seven modules from the low performance P2000. It consumes 58 watts to the, the high performance RTX 5000 or RTX 2080. Uh, there are two options, uh, two serial you can choose. Uh, one is a Quadro MSM module. The other one is a GeForce MSM module. And all the modules for the long life cycle to up to 2025. And you can choose the the required MSM module depends on the uh, performance. Uh, River to the CUDA core or uh, flow point uh, capability to have the uh, to to select the good MSM module on the RC three hundred CS. But but the higher power of M MSM module means the higher thermal discipline from the system. So the operating temperature in the ambient will be different. De depends on the, the, the power of the MSM. For example, with the module under 60 watts, like P2000 and T1000, the, the whole system, system can support up to 70 degrees C. But with the higher power consumption of MSM modules uh, above 80 watts, the system can support up to 55 degrees C only. But if you need the, the very high performance uh, MSM consumes 150 watts like RTX 5000 or RTX 2080, uh, to ensure the reliability, we, we, we suggest the system you need, need an external fan to, dis to dissipate the, the thermal from this high power MSM module. Okay, this is all my presentation and thank you for listening to this topic. And please give us your feedback via scanning the QR code and complete the survey. You will have a chance to win one of the iTunes Apple car. Thank you and have a good day.